So we can look at other radio probability distributions of other wave functions that we talked about. We talked about the wave function for a 2s orbital and also for a 3s orbital. So let's go ahead and think about drawing what that would look like in terms of the radio probability distribution. So what we're graphing here is the radius as a function of radio probability. And for a 2s orbital, you get a graph that's going to look something like this. So again, we're starting at 0. We have one node here. And we can, again, define that most probable radius. And it turns out that for a 2s orbital, that's equal to 6 times a naught. So when we think about what it is that this radio probability distribution is telling us, it's telling us that it is most likely that an electron in a 2s orbital of hydrogen is six times further away from the nucleus than it is in a 1s orbital. So another way to say that is, in a sense, if we're thinking about the excited state of a hydrogen atom, the first excited state, or the, the n equals 2 state, what we're saying is that it's actually bigger than the ground state or the 1s state of the hydrogen atom. And when we say bigger, remember, we're not, this is not a classical uh, description we're talking about. We are talking about probability, but what we're saying is that most probable radius is further away from the nucleus. So we can also look at this in terms of the 3s orbital. And in this case, we have a graph that looks something like this. So you can draw that into your notes. And again, we can define what that most probable radius is, that distance at which we're most likely to find an electron. And in the case of the 3s orbital, that's going to be equal to 11.5 times a naught. So again, what we're saying here is that it is most likely in the 3s orbital that we would find the electron 11 and a half times further away from the nucleus than we would in a ground state hydrogen atom. Uh, and I just want to point out here in terms of things that you're responsible for, you should know that the most probable radius for a 1s hydrogen atom is equal to a naught. And you should know that a 2s is larger than that, and a 3s is even larger. And of course, hopefully, as we go to 4 and 5, we'd be able to guess that those are going to get even larger. But you're not responsible for knowing specifically that it's 11.5 times greater. You just need to know the trend there. <laughs>